you to do all things. So he said, I'm going to strengthen you that you can do all things. It says, by his spirit in the inner man, that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, that you being rooted and grounded in love. So somebody say, I got to be rooted and I got to be grounded in love. So you can't afford to be offended. You can't afford to be walking around with unforgiveness in your heart. Say, I got to be rooted, and I got to be grounded. So I can't be easily offended. As soon as somebody do something, she offended me. What? Get out of here with that. We can't be like that. We can't be, we can't be you know, touchy. We can't, we can't, we can't be touchy-feely people. Remember, we're, we're spirit beings. We ain't from here. We're from the kingdom, and just like diplomats can pick up that phone and phone home, so can you. At any time, at any place, anywhere, you can phone home whenever you feel like it, and God's going to release a legion of angels. You got backup. You're never alone. You ain't never by yourself. So you can't afford to be offended. When you get in a state of offense, can't nobody tell you nothing. You can't hear God, you can't hear me, you can't hear nobody. Pastor be standing up here preaching from his heart, leaping over chairs, spinning around. You can't hear nothing because you offended. Offended means I'm cut off. When you're cut off from God, guess what? You can't receive the spectacular. You can't receive the wow because you've been cut off. Say, I ain't going to be cut off. Come on, say it again. I ain't going to be cut off. See, I'm telling you to say this because I want this to get in your spirit because we're a family up in here. When I shine, you shine. And my thing is this, we ain't leaving nobody behind. We all walking in that joy together. We getting what God had for us. Everybody walking in. If we got to pull you, you coming. So I can't be in unforgiveness. Yeah, you hurt my feelings. Yeah, you did me wrong, but I'm going to love you anyhow. When, I, when you stand in unforgiveness, God can't hear your prayers. Now, you write a lot of stuff on the back of your envelopes, according to Pastor Bill. He says some people write all on the flap, on the inside of the flap. They write chapters. So you believe in God for a whole lot of stuff. So you can't afford to be in a state of unforgiveness. Nobody is worth your spectacular. Nobody. When we stand in unforgiveness, it's like you drank a bottle of poison and you expect another person to die. It ain't happening. You drink the poison, you gonna die. And so when we stand in unforgiveness, that's where we are. Half the time, the person don't even realize you mad. You, they, they, they walking around doing what they do, and you mad, you offended. They out there enjoying life, and you mad, and you offended, you cut off. So God is sending the word. He said, now I told you this is your time. It's a set time that the glory is resting on the house of Open Bible. And people are getting blessed. Open Bible nights, you can't be offended and you can't be in unforgiveness. Say, that ain't me. Amen. Come on and give God some glory and some praise about that. <laughs> so the next verse says that we may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth, the length, the depth, and the height and to know the love of Christ, which passeth knowledge that you might be filled with all the fullness of God. So the fullness of God is you, you're, you're missing nothing. You're living a life. It's heaven on earth living for you. But it says, and to know the love of Christ. How many of us know the way we love is different from how Christ loves? Go with me to 1 Corinthians 13. We're going to talk about how Christ loves, and that's how we should be. Amen. We always walk around as Jesus is, so am I. Right? Isn't that what we say? So as Jesus is, so are we. So we're going to do this love thing like Jesus does it. Amen? Amen. We're going to stop saying that if we ain't going to do it. So if I'm going to be like Jesus, I'm going to love like Jesus. Amen? Amen? I'm no longer loving conditionally. I love you if you tell me good stuff about me. I love you if you do what I say when I say how I say I love you if every time I jump, you say how high and how long you want me to stay up there. I ain't loving like that no more. But I'm going to love unconditionally. Whether I done told you three, four times, don't do that, but you do it again. I'm going to love you anyhow. 
That's how God loves. He loves unconditionally. His love is awesome. His love is great. He's a merciful God. So we got to be merciful. We got to give people room. We got to give them grace like God gives us. So I, I can't get upset when somebody make a mistake. We can't do that no more. We're renewing our mind. I said at the beginning, if I see the word, I hear the word, and I understand the word, that I can instantaneously be changed into the word. So we see seeing the word, we're hearing the word, we're understanding the word, and my God, we're going to be changed into this word. Amen? Amen. 1 Corinthians 13, verse uh, 4, and I'm reading from the Amplified. And verse 4 says, love endures long and it's patient. I heard somebody say, mm, and it's kind. <laughs> love endures long, so I'm, I'm going to be there. No matter how many times you do what you do. Come on, y'all, don't get quiet. <laughs> come on, come on. No matter how many times you do it. I'm going to love you. I'm going to be patient. I'm going to be kind. I ain't going to snap your neck. I ain't going to cuss you out. I'm going to be kind. That's all right, baby. You'll get it right next time. <laughs> y'all laughing because that's what y'all do now, right? This ain't nothing for y'all. Y'all y'all been doing this, right? It says, love, love is never envious nor bow over with jealousy is not boastful and is not vainglorious and it does not display itself heartily. So we can't be envious and jealous when people get stuff. Amen. So what you know that past? You got one too. You want me to tell you about yours? Amen. So you, you can't be tripping when somebody gets something. I don't care what you know and you think they don't deserve it. You ain't the one that's in judgment. You don't know how long I've been believing God for this thing, and you don't know how far I've come, and just because you know some of my bad habits, when you ain't looking, I'm the one that's down on my knees. I'm the one that's giving God praise, and I'm the one that's giving God glory. In fact, I'm the one that's praying for you. So don't be envious and don't be jealous when you see something. You ought to be happy for me, and you ought to congratulate me, and you ought to rejoice when others rejoice if you want the spectacular in your life. And then when we get into that state of jealousy and envy, you know, that's where all evil work happens. That's, that's strife. And see, where there's strife is, it's all evil work, and God ain't no way in that. So when you sit in a judgment seat and you want to be envious and you want to be jealous, you walking around in strife, and I don't want to hear nobody say, the devil did it, uh-uh. You open up that door yourself and let the devil in when you made a decision to be envious and jealous of somebody. The devil, like you see, we give the devil too much credit. He ain't all powerful like that. In fact, he a punk. He can't come in unless I let him. I'll tell him, get back. So we can't be in a state of jealousy and envy. You, you can't do that. You ain't going to get no spectacular. You ain't going to get no wild. I don't care how much you throw your holy hands up and you speak in tongues. Ain't nothing happening for you. So I got to stay in love. See, when I get over there in strife, I done stepped out of love. Now the word just said I got to be rooted and grounded in love. So when I start getting over there in envy and strife, I done stepped out of love. So as soon as I step out of love, I don't mess that stuff up on the back of my envelope. Ain't nothing happening. Ain't nothing happening. I keep trying to tell you, ain't nobody worth that. You've been, you been believing God too long. You've been believing God for a long time. You've been on your knees praying. You've been on your knees crying. So you, you can't be in that state because that's not the kind of love that like God is. So if, as Jesus is, so am I. If I'm going to be like God, I'm happy for you. I don't care what I know about you. I'm happy for you. God is doing something in your life, and in a minute, ain't nobody going to be able to say nothing about your past because he done already erased it. In a minute, your confidence is going to be through the roof, so you don't care what they think anyway. In a minute, you experiencing so much spectacular and so much wild, you could care less. So what would you think? So then it says, I'm not boastful.
boastful or vainglorious and I do not display myself heartily. See, there's a thin line between being boastful and giving God glory. See, when you're giving God glory, somebody say, oh, that's a nice car. To God be the glory. Amen. Oh, girl, you got a nice girl. God did that thing. Yes. I see you got that bag you was believing for. Girl, God did it. He sent the money. <laughs> see, that's when I'm giving God glory. But when I'm boastful, oh, that's a nice car, ain't it? <laughs> girl, yo, you living large. Yeah, I am. I'm doing pretty good. That, that, that ain't love. That ain't love, so we don't want to operate like that. We don't want to display ourselves haughtily. We don't want to be nasty. We, that, that, ain't, that ain't what we do. Amen. You're a believer, and believers don't act that way. Amen. Once upon a time before we got saved and really got saved, we may have acted that way, but God done changed your name. He done changed your lane. You got a different view now. That ain't you no more. Amen. So then it says, love is not conceited. It's not arrogant and inflated with pride. So you can't be walking around here and think you all that in a bag of chips and a big gulp too. No. <laughs> that, you're not. Because you're nothing without God. Amen. You're not, none of us. None of us are nothing with God, without God. Had it not been for God, we wouldn't be sitting here right now. The enemy been trying to take you out since you were born. And God stepped in the way and said no. So you can't be acting like that. It says that it's, 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 it's not inflated with pride. You know, a prideful man falls hard. And when we're in a prideful position, once again, can't nobody tell you nothing. You think you right about everything, and you so caught up in your pride, God does sent people your way to try to help you, but you can't hear it because, you know, he sent um, Miss Gwen, and Miss Gwen ain't Elder G, and she ain't Elder Juanita, and she ain't Pastor Bill, so you can't hear God speaking through Miss Gwen because you're prideful. God operates by using people, and you don't have to have a title for him to use you. If you're resting under his glory, and you're praising him, and you're worshiping him, and you have a good relationship with God, and your heart is open to be used, and you said, I surrender, Lord, and I'm not withholding anything, God can use you. So we can't be caught on letting let the enemy mess your mind up and because it ain't come from the right messenger, you ain't trying to hear. You need help. You've been in that place too long. God wants to see you through. He's trying to get you over into the spectacular, but you're standing in pride. That ain't God and that ain't God's love. Amen? It, the next thing it says, it says it. Is not rude and unmannerly, and it does not act unbecomingly. So I don't care how you act, I'm going to act right. You know, sometimes we, you know, get the tripping, and she made me say this, and, and if she say one more thing, I'm just, <laughs> like you can't control yourself. Your supervisor and that judge that's in that courtroom, stand, he keep walking, and you stand up and don't even know who he is. You can control yourself. You stand up in that courtroom because you ain't trying to get locked up. Sounds like you can control yourself to me. You go to work every day. That supervisor get on your nerves, but you take your little butt to work every day. You want that check. You control yourself at work. You keep your mouth shut. You might go to your little cube. Oh, she getting on my nerve, but you ain't saying to her. You ain't that bad. So we ain't rude. We don't do that. So I don't care you at Cheesecake Factory, they mess your food up three times. Thank you, ma'am. It's all right. I know you ain't mean it. That's how we as Christians act. When y'all gonna get my food right? Uh-uh, uh-uh, we don't do that. We don't do that. I don't care if you grew up in the hood, you saved now, the hood lips should be gone. She don't know where I'm from, so what? You ain't from there no more. Stop acting like that. That's your problem. You keep saying stuck in that environment. We're trying to get you over in this environment. So I don't act rude like that when they mess my food up. Because see, when you act rude, you're out of love. And when you're out of love, you miss the favor. See, if you, yes, ma'am, thank you so much. No problem. You know what, ma'am? We're going to take that off the bill. That's what happens when you walk in love. So you get spectacular and you get favor. But when you act rude, Ain't nothing coming for you. In fact, they might jack your food up again. 
So we don't do that. Say, I don't do that. I I ain't rude. Then it says, love, God's love in us does not insist on its own right or its own way. For it is not self-seeking. It ain't all about you. You know, I and I, girl, I. Uh uh-uh, uh, it ain't about you. It's about others. So I put you before me because I'm not self seeking. See, I'm going to display some love. You, you go ahead. No, you was here first. That's all right, baby. You go ahead. That's what we do. See, when, when, when God's glory rests on us, somebody else ought, ought to know about it. Somebody else should be able to tell that the glory of God is resting on your life. So the lady in the line at the grocery store, go ahead, ma'am. She ought to be able to tell, oh, my God, you must be a Christian. (laughs) Not that mean old lady. And so we're not self-seeking. It's not about us. It's about what God would have us to do. It's about what God would want us to do. It's about how we're going to bless somebody else. So that's what I tell you. This God's love is way different from ours, ain't it? It says it is not touchy or fretful or resentful. Stop being in your feelings all the time. That's what he's saying. I ain't touching you, I ain't fretful. I ain't always in my feelings. She walk past me, she ain't speak. She used to say, hi, baby. Today she was like, hi. Something must be wrong. Really? Really? It's not resentful. So I'm not holding anything against you. Maybe you ain't see me. Maybe you got a lot going on. Maybe I should have spoke, hey, girl, did you, hey, girl. (laughs) So you got to just change the way you think. She ain't speak, you speak. See, when we operate under God's glory and we operate in love, see, this is my belief here, that when someone comes in contact with love, they shouldn't lead the same way that they find. So I'm making this up as I go along. Minnie Yvonne having a bad day, but she came in contact with me. She ought not be having a bad day after we talk. She ain't got to tell me her business, but because the glory of God is on my life and I'm just displaying love. Hey, Minnie Sivon, what's going on? You look cute today. Little words lift people's spirits, and that's what we're supposed to do. We shouldn't be Christians and we offending each other and we talking about each other. We all on the same team. We all in the same game. The enemy is working day and night trying to take all of us out. So we got to be like, 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 like a, a team that's, you know, on the battlefield. It's all of us. How am I going to let the enemy get in and do something to uh, Mr. Andre when it's all of us? He got to come through all of us. I ain't no sucker and you better not be no sucker because you on our team. So when we operate in God's love, we make sure that when people come into contact with us, they leave differently. So even if they're already happy, they should be on a higher level. That's what we got to be, amen? We got to stay grounded and rooted in love. That's the only way that the spectacular is going to happen. That's the only way that the wow is going to happen. The next thing says, it takes no account of the evil done to me, and it pays no attention to a suffered wrong. So I can't remind you, this is the fourth time you did this, and this is the fourth time that you said you're sorry. I can't do that. I'm sorry. I accept your apology. This is the God kind of love. See, just, just put, your, put yourself here. You're going to um, keep track of how many times they hurt you. What if God just roll out that film on you about how many times you hurt him? I don't think you could stand it. And I think his memory might be a little bit longer if he was that kind of God, if he started reminding you of everything that you've done. In fact, I'm sure some of it you don't forgot, but he could bring it to your remembrance. So, so we don't want to be resentful and, and keep in count of how many times you hurt me. I'm going to pray for you. Did you hurt my feelings? Yes, you did. Is it bothering me a little bit? Yes, it is. Is it bothering me a whole lot? Yes, it is. But I got a father that I could cast my K on, and if I let him do things how he does things, see, it ain't always about fixing the other person. It's about fixing you. 
See, if you give that thing to God, he can fix your heart and he can fix your mind and he can erase the bad memories and, and, and you won't even remember it. So I ain't, got, I ain't holding no grudge against nobody. Have you ever noticed that every time you go to God about somebody else, he turned the finger back at you? What you do? Yeah, 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 I know that's what they did. But how you respond? What you say? You ain't say nothing? I ain't say nothing. Well, what was the nonverbal communication saying? What was your face saying? So when I'm walking in love, I'm keeping it all together. Remember, oh, you can control yourself. You can control yourself. Come on, say, I can. I can. Control, myself. control myself. So it's all about you. How are you handling things when we're walking in love? Say, this is a good message, ain't it? The next thing love does, God kind of love, it does not rejoice at injustice and unrighteousness, but it rejoices when right and truth prevail. So we don't get excited because Tatum was found dead and we're not sure what he did with Relisha. That ain't what we do. We pray for his soul. So we don't get excited when we know that somebody's done something bad or something wrong. Oh, you deserve that. That ain't what we do. See, the moment you jump over into you deserve that, you done stepped out of love. I be real careful because it's the least little things that can get you to step out of love. So you got to be conscious all the time about what you say and what you do and all of your thoughts because the least little thing can get you on the wrong side of the line. Say, I'm going to stay rooted and grounded in love. Next thing it says, love bears up under anything and everything that comes. It's ever ready to believe the best of every person. So no matter what I know about you, no matter what I've seen, no matter what somebody come and tell me about you, I ain't going to prejudge you. All I know is you a believer just like him. I done slipped and fell and got up. You probably done slipped and fell and got up. We can right walk hand in hand and do this thing for the kingdom. That's where you need to be. So we can't be judging people. That's God's job. Remember, we stay in our lane. We let God be God, and we as believers, we believe. We believe that he is, and that he can do everything that he said he can do. That's the only job we got as believers. Believe. So if we stay focused on believing, we don't have time to operate in all of that other crazy stuff. So I got to keep my mouth out of gossip. That ain't love. If somebody trusts you enough with a situation or a problem, please keep your mouth closed. You know, because this is how believers do. I ain't trying to tell their business. I just want you to pray for them. No, you're trying to tell their business. You don't need to do that. You got a relationship with God. Just do what you said. Just pray. You ain't got to tell nobody. The whole open Bible, all three locations, don't need to know that so-and-so is going through whatever they're going through. So we want to stay out of those kind of conversations because we're being, we done jumped over there into judgmental. That ain't love. Say, that ain't love, girl. Say, stop calling me with that foolishness. And y'all use those words when they call. Stop calling me with that foolishness. Believing for too much. So it says its hopes are faithless under all circumstances and it endures everything without weakening. So I'm not giving up. I'm going to be in it for the long haul with you. If it take you two years, if it take you four years, if it take you six years, I'm going to be there because that's what love does. Yeah, I told you stop calling me at 3 o'clock in the morning because you keep running out of gas. But if you call me again, I'm going to get out the bed and I'm going to come help you. But uh, you know what I mean? So what? I done reminded you that E means empty, not enough. Put some gas in your car. I'm going to love you because that's what love does. Love wouldn't leave you stranded out there. Although you're not acting like you got all your faculties, I'm going to love you anyway. So I'm going to be there through the long haul. I'm going to be there when you get it right. And if you slip back again, I'm going to still be there. And I ain't going to remind you that, you know, we've been here before. That's not what love does. 
When we pray to God, God, if you get me out of this, I promise I ain't going to do it again. And then two months later, God, if you get me out, I promise I ain't going to do this again. God is not like that. What you talking about? I don't even remember what you did last time. That's where God is. So that's how we have to be as Christians because we're always saying, as Jesus is, so am I. So if, as Jesus is, if, that, if, if that's how you are, then you got to be like God. I forgive you. I ain't counting how many times you did it. Amen? 